are back. What's up guys, been a long time. Well, let's not dwell on that. Today, uh, it's about 8.30. We're out picking sign, field signs up. Um, a little bit behind, but between fall fertilizer, harvest, uh, we've actually had a decent fall until now. We, we received about, oh, probably two inches, two and a half inches of rain. Uh, and that's really set back harvest now that we're, we're pretty wet. Uh, so it's gonna be a few days uh, from that point. So I figured good day to go pick up some of these field signs. I don't know, I got too many to even count how many are out there, but uh, might as well start the part of the south uh, and go from there. We're on our way, kind of see over in the land of the windmills. Uh, we're on our way to kind of Bell Fountain, Ohio. I got four or five down that way, kind of work our way back up north to, to Bluffton. Uh, we'll see how many my truck bed can hold. Here we go, round one. Actually, I got a few in the back of my truck already that I picked up along the way, but this is the first one down south. You can't see it, but Bell Center, Ohio is right there. So, let's grab it. in the back. Now, the fun part. Yeah. Smack off the mud. Put that in. We do that. One, two, three. So this was another farm, uh, a different farmer, but it crossed the scales in the mid 70s also. Uh, the three five bean, I believe. So this field behind us uh, has AgriPro, I believe an AgriPro 576 wheat. Uh, we had pretty good luck with it. A lot of guys uh, were in that 90 to 100 bushel last year. I apologize about the wind, but Here's a specialized sign, 10L16. Uh, this hybrid has won Ohio State's trials. Uh, this farm in particular, we, like I said, we just got the rains at Bell Center uh, from that point, but it went 205 to 210, uh, very dry, 16%. Planted mid-April, 10L16. Going back to the, uh, the kind of specialized field sign, I like that, as a farmer, I like that. When I drive by a field of corn, or beans. I want to know what variety that is. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, companies now have just went to generic science, like what you see I'm picking up. A lot of them just say Golden Harvest Root and Bin. Um, you'll see that from Pioneer, Bex. You know, a lot of them went that way, and I get it. You know, it's a mass production. You know, if it gets hit by something, who cares? You know, um, it's a little more money to do specialized signs. But as a farmer, I like signs. This sign will probably be retired. It'll go on somebody's wall, trash can, <laughs> something. But you can kind of see see the color difference there. She's she's just been out in the sun. We've probably used it three years. Uh, it's been a good sign, but you can kind of see just the color difference. Time to be retired. Okay, that's the first one that did not want to come apart today, so she's going to go home and get beat with a hammer. That's just the way she's going to be. 